Thank you and welcome to what is now your university. I want to extend special greetings to the families and friends who are watching at home. You are also part of the Penn State family and we're thrilled to share this special event with you. Convocation has special meeting at Penn State because it marks the ceremonial beginning of your academic pursuits. But more importantly, it's intended to better acquaint you with some of Penn State's people, expectations, and opportunities, while giving you a few insights into college life. This semester, we will be teaching and learning in new and different ways, but will always be connected by our passion, pride, and commitment to excellence. And this fall, we will show our Penn State pride by our commitment to keeping the community safe. That means practicing COVID-19 prevention measures like wearing a mask, physically distancing, and washing hands. We are Penn State, and we are in this together. Thank you for doing your part and for looking out for one another. Now we'll officially begin with one of Penn State's most beloved traditions, the singing of the Penn State alma mater. It will be performed by the University Choir, which includes students from many colleges and departments at University Park. Feel free to sing along. It's what Penn Staters do. Class of 2024, you are now part of an institution that is known worldwide for excellence in teaching, research, and service. I'm very proud of the work we do at Penn State, our dedicated faculty and staff, our distinguished research enterprise, and our service and philanthropy that benefit humankind. Wherever you go, if you say, I go to Penn State, you'll likely find other proud Penn Staters one in 106 Americans with a college degree is a Penn State graduate. That number is one in 10 among Pennsylvanians. And they all started out just like you. Of course, this semester will be unique. After taking classes on Zoom in high school, you might think you know what to expect, but you may be in for some surprises. Our faculty have worked hard to find creative ways to teach, learn, build community, and explore new ideas. One of the best ways to get to know your classmates is to participate in activities. Although they will look a little different this semester, there are clubs and organizations for almost every interest. And if you can't find one you like, start one yourself. Take full advantage of the opportunities available to you. And if you do, I guarantee that you will be healthier, happier, and get better grades, have a better resume, and ultimately, get a better job. Where to start? As Michael Scott from the office said, I knew exactly what to do, but in a much more real sense, I had no idea what to do. But well, you will learn. As you get to know our community, 
you'll discover geographical and academic diversity, as well as differences in race, religion, ethnicity, sexual orientation, political views, and age. Penn State increasingly reflects the changing face of our nation, and we embrace the vision for a just and unified university. We strive to create a place where it is recognized that everyone belongs here because they earn the right to be at Penn State. During my career, I've spent more than 30 years at Penn State with students, faculty, and staff from every walk of life. I have found that our community has an amazing potential for goodness, as well as the courage of our convictions to be a national leader in diversity, inclusion, and justice efforts. We're proud of the we are spirit that has brought Penn Staters together for generations. And it brings all of us together as we begin a new academic year. You are welcome here. We're thrilled you chose Penn State. Get ready for a great year. Good evening and welcome to the Pennsylvania State University. My name is Gary Lawler, and I am proud to serve Penn State Hazleton as the Chancellor. I am blessed to work with an extraordinary faculty, staff, and administration. Yet the real joy is in working with our students as they begin and continue on their pathway to success. This convocation today is to welcome each of our new students and their families officially to the Penn State family. The word convocation comes from the Latin for calling together and it's often a formal coming together of a group of people. Often in universities, a convocation such as the one we celebrate today is more formal and includes faculty and staff wearing regalia. At Penn State Hazleton, we pride ourselves on the principle that every student counts. To show my commitment to students, I thought I would be a little bit less formal and wear my Penn State gear to personify the sense of community. We look forward to getting to know each of our new students in the days to come. We are very proud at Penn State Hazleton to have a strong sense of community that is generated by our students, our faculty, and our staff. It makes for a tremendous diverse teaching and learning environment. As part of our land-grant mission of teaching, research, and community service, we are also committed to our Greater Hazleton community. I and my senior leadership team serve on many different nonprofit boards to extend our experience and talents to the community. Another example of our community outreach occurs at our Hazelton Launchbox, sponsored by Pasco L. Shivo Esquire. The Launchbox is located in newly renovated space in the heart of downtown Hazelton. The Launchbox is the brainchild of our president, Dr. Eric Barron, and his initiative to spur economic development throughout Pennsylvania. It is a center for students and community members to explore entrepreneurship, create a new idea, and to turn those ideas potentially into a new business. It is a business starter, an incubator, and an accelerator all in one. We are very proud of the Launchbox and the opportunities it affords our students and the community. For each of our students and families, this is a special time. For families, it is exciting to see your son or daughter beginning a new chapter in their life. It is a time of adjustment for families as well as parents let go just a bit as their child moves closer to adulthood. For our newest students, it is a new beginning, a fresh start. It is a time to get engaged in and out of the classroom. Research studies suggest the more engaged a student is, the more likely they will be successful. Successful academically, successful socially, and more successful in leadership roles. It will be a different kind of semester, but we are committed to trying to help you stay safe and healthy. I would be remiss if I did not remind you of some of the important rules for being on campus this fall 2020 semester. You must wear a mask, which we can always provide, and you must maintain social distancing while on campus. The consequences of not doing so are way too great. We do not want you getting ill, we do not want you getting others ill, and at the same time, we want you to have an experience to remember. The university's messaging on this subject is mask up or pack up. This means that if we don't all mask up, that the virus will increase and we will all have to pack up and go home to remote learning. I do not think that any of us want that with all the possibilities we have in store. 
This is likely the last time this semester you will see me without a mask. While the world is a difficult place these days given COVID-19, each of us is envious of each of you students. We are envious of your wide-eyed optimism, your sense of commitment, and the chance you have to start your higher education and transform your life, building your own path to the future. Ralph Waldo Emerson once said about paths, do not go where the path may lead, go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. Once again, welcome to Penn State, welcome to our Hazleton campus, welcome to our community, and most of all know that we believe every student counts. We are here for you. Pandemic or no pandemic, we are and always will be Penn State. You have my best regards. And now I'm proud to introduce you to James Walsh, your Student Government Association President. Hello, everybody. I hope you're excited to start your first semester of college. And although this semester will be radically different from any other in the past, we are still active, involved, and connected as students despite the coronavirus concerns. You may be thinking that your freshman year may be hindered by the virus, but I'm here to tell you that your experience will be what you make of it and that this semester will not be all doom and gloom. Although many classes and activities will be virtual, that doesn't mean you don't have the opportunity to be able to be active on campus. You'll still be able to participate in the student clubs such as Lion Ambassadors and Student Government. Our THON will continue to raise money for pediatric cancer. We have a place on campus called The Loft where multiculturalism and support for our LGBTQA students will continue to thrive. And our residence halls will be active places where your living and learning environment will be exciting. In addition to the residence halls, our new library will be another great place to enhance your learning environment. Opportunities for student engagement will not be in short supply, so now is a better time than ever to become active in activities outside the classroom. Our gym and recreational facilities will also give you a chance to become physically active outside of the classroom. The current situation will not last forever, and quite frankly, I understand that becoming active virtually may not seem as exciting as it would in person, but it will still have many benefits both personally and professionally. And if you decide to become involved in a club or an organization now, you will have a leg up on anybody who waits to become involved once the pandemic subsides. This year has been trying on many of us, and you may feel like giving up, but this is not the time to give up. It is the time to step up, build your own lion legacy. Now it's the time to go against the grain and show resilience through the toughest year our generation has endured. As the Student Government Association President, I can't stress enough how important it is to become involved on campus. SGA is here to represent the students. We are here for you, and help meet your needs. There's so much to take advantage of on campus. We will be communicating to you through various ways all the opportunities to take advantage. So check your email, look at our social media pages, and spread the word to your friends. It is a great time to become involved despite the coronavirus pandemic. We have all been dealt the same cards, and we might as well make the most of them. I encourage everybody to believe in yourself, put your best effort forth during your freshman year, and become the best you possibly can be. Despite everything that this year has shown at us, the ability to persevere will always be our greatest asset, and we are going to thrive this year. Now a few words from Alan Kaler, Director of Enrollment Management. Hello, and welcome to the Penn State family. My name is Alan Kaler, and I am the Director of Enrollment Management. The enrollment team at Hazleton is responsible for the admissions and student aid offices. So I know I've spoken with many of you during your initial journey to Penn State. You should be proud to have had a successful high school career, navigating your senior year both in person and virtual, applying and eventually being admitted to Penn State, making that college decision, and now joining us at the Hazleton campus. You are joining a class that hails from countries around the world, ranging from the Caribbean to Asia and across our country, from New York to California, and so many more. And a special shout out to those of you joining us from our very own Commonwealth. You represent every corner of our state, from Pittsburgh to Philadelphia, and right down the street here in Hazleton. Welcome everyone to Penn State. I want to also give a special welcome to those of you who are like me, a first-generation student, 
I know being the first in your family can be difficult, and some of you navigated those waters all by yourself. Take a moment and be proud. You found the way and enrolled in one of the top 50 universities in the world. And by starting your Penn State career at the Hazleton campus, you will have the opportunity to learn from some of the top faculty members at the university in a personalized setting on this beautiful residential campus. Be proud, be excited. Now is the time to also get ready. Congratulate yourself on the admissions process, but now you are a Penn Stater. Get ready to make that transition to a new post-secondary environment. It is time to hit the ground running and start your academic career on the right foot. There will be stumbles along the way, and that's okay. But keep your eye on the prize and earn your Penn State degree that is recognized around the world. We were happy to help you get here, and now we're here to cheer you on. This is your moment. Welcome to Penn State. Now it's time to turn it over to Barbara Brazen, Faculty Senate President. Welcome to Penn State Hazleton. My name is Barbara Brazen, Penn State Hazleton Faculty Senate President. On behalf of the faculty, I would like to let you know that the faculty is looking forward to joining you in this upcoming academic year. Whether the teaching mode is in person, or via Zoom, or a combination of these two modes. As you begin this journey, don't be a stranger. Don't be afraid to connect with your instructors and advisors. Take ownership of your life and your education by connecting with everyone around you and availing yourself of all the opportunities and services that come your way. We want to help you succeed and achieve your academic goals and dreams because you are now a member of a great diverse family called Penn State. And now I'd like to welcome the Director of Academic Affairs, Dr. Elizabeth Wright. Good evening. I'm delighted to welcome the class of 2024 and their families to Penn State. Welcome Weekend is one that is marked by all things new, new faculty, new classes, and new protocols brought on by the fact that you are beginning college during a pandemic, an observation that we have not been able to make about our incoming class for more than a century. So why then do we gather here for convocation? As Dr. Lawler suggested, convocations are specifically designed to be a calling together of people for a special purpose. In academia, we use convocation to reinforce the idea that we are all part of a larger community, one that cherishes the power of knowledge sharing and creation. In doing so, we begin to form connections that are currently in their infancy and will develop and grow over the next few weeks. Students, you are joining a community that celebrates the power of ideas and critical thinking. You're joining a community that embraces the power of shared responsibility. You are joining a community that celebrates the power of service to others. You're joining a community that celebrates the powers of collaboration, hard work, and perseverance. You are joining a community that will keep you connected, whether you are attending classes in person or remotely, and you are joining a community that embraces diversity and promotes a culture of tolerance, respect, and dignity. Students, we use this ceremony to welcome you to our community, to introduce you to others who are here to help you work towards your academic goals, and to invite you to participate fully in all that Penn State has to offer. Typically, I offer three pieces of advice to new students. They are as follows. Ask questions, join something, seek balance. This advice reflects the values of our community, the value we place upon helping others, the value we place upon community engagement, the value we place upon interdisciplinary learning, and the value we place upon respect and dignity. I encourage you to keep these three suggestions in mind in the coming days as you become a part of this community and to reach out to us should you need help in any way connecting to your classes and to your faculty. We welcome you to Penn State University and we very much look forward to working with you during this transition. Thank you. Now I'd like to introduce Tracy Garnett, Director of Student Services and Engagement. Good evening parents, families, friends, and the Penn State Class of 2024. I am Tracy Garnick, the Director of Student Services and Engagement. As we get ready to begin classes tomorrow, it is a special honor to join you on this momentous occasion. As you have heard from the speakers before me, we have been preparing for your arrival. Our orientation leaders have been training to assist students in their transition, 
our resident assistants have been preparing our halls to guide you as you embark on your living and learning journey, and our faculty and staff have been anxiously awaiting for the semester to start, our favorite time of the year. Your college experience will become a treasured memory, and the faculty and staff at Penn State Hazleton are here to make those memories a reality. We think students are the most important people on the campus. Students are our thing. Students are not dependent on us, rather, we are dependent on them, and students are the purpose of our work. Parents, our commitment to you is that every student counts. Earlier, I used the word momentous, which means of the utmost importance or outstanding significance. Today is a momentous occasion because it describes the countless individual achievements, struggles, and challenges that are the fabric of every student embarking on their college journey. We purposefully create an experience through our orientation and welcome weekend programs where the main goal is to get you connected to the campus. Part of this connection involves developing your affinity for Penn State Hazleton. To move forward with Penn State, it is important though to understand Penn State's past. This year we have seen an unprecedented reality. Our country has been transfixed on the impacts of the coronavirus and the awesomeness of a social justice movement that came to a head. Our political climate has brought us important decisions to make and our standing on the world stage has been called into question. With all of this, Penn State remains steadfast in our beliefs, values, and stature. We are Penn State. This chant for many encapsulates what it means to be a Penn Stater and part of an interconnected community that is recognizable around the world. We are Penn State. These words are what you hear loud and proud during an entire football game. As one side of Beaver Stadium exclaims, we are, the other side responds, Penn State. The chant, which has become the emblem that embodies Penn State, can be traced back to a mantra from the year 1946. Let me tell you the story. It was a time when racism and segregation ruled American life and a story of Penn State bucking cultural norms and taking a bold stand for what was right. It was 1946, a time when many college football teams in America were segregated, but not Penn State. For the Penn State team included two black players, Wally Triplett and Denny Hogard. When the University of Miami informed Penn State that it could not play their two black players, Penn State's team voted unanimously to cancel the game. Two years later in 1948, Triplett was the lone black player on the Penn State team that earned the right to play Southern Methodist University in the Cotton Bowl. When Penn State heard that SMU wanted to discuss Penn State's leaving Triplett at home, Penn State flatly refused. In that context, guard Steve Suey coined the phrase that would become the battle cry of the Lions. We will not leave Triplett at home, Suey said, because we are Penn State. There will be no more meetings about this. We Are Penn State is not just about winning and certainly not about winning at any cost. The phrase We Are Penn State points to a university with a long and proud tradition of moral standing, part of our values, part of our tradition. We are a university that believes and embodies that our students, faculty, and staff make a difference in the lives of others and impact the future. We are relevant at this time. These are times of tremendous change in the world and we recognize the gravity of our reality. Our ability to manage these changes closely correlates to our level of knowledge and education. The opportunities and challenges ahead demand well-educated minds and we are delighted to know that you have chosen Penn State Hazleton as an excellent foundation from which to start this life journey. We are so proud to have the class of 2024 join us it is your time to shine. So welcome to Penn State. It's now your time.
Athletics welcomes you to the Pride. Let's go state. We are. We are. We are. We are. We are. We are Penn State.